But the people at the nudist resorts, wonderful people, <laughs> very naked. It's an initial shock when you first see the nakedness. Yeah. How and many people are we? How many naked people are we talking? There was like a hundred naked people. I wouldn't have said like. I would have counted. I'd have been like, you wouldn't believe it. There were sixty-eight. Like I would know exactly how many naked people. I, were there. I tr it, try not to look at everyone specifically when they're naked. It's just a sea of, of nakedness. <laughs> the hardest part for me is the eating. Because there's dinner. Yeah. I, we're sitting at this table. And there's naked people around. It, they have it really hot in there because they're naked. So so now you're hot because you have clothes on. And there's just a weird smell. This guy's right <laughs> next to me. And I just oh. can't enjoy the food. What were at they serving? Point, it was like a buffet. The food it looked fine. It was, <laughs> Hold so, on. People take like their tray and they like go oh. up naked. <laughs> Yeah, and just looking at the buffet salad bar, they're yeah. ladling the ranch buffet. onto there. It's oh, it's in crotch on. level. The food, you know. No. Yeah, it could go badly. <laughs> Where right? that splash guard is it the, at the bottom, not at the top, like they have at Ruby there's Tuesdays. No, there's no splash guard. They could, they could stir the soup with their. Oh. Yeah. What kind of soup? Cream of something? I hope not. <laughs> no. What'd you eat? What do you like to eat at a nudist resort? They had this chicken dish, and they had a little bit of pasta, and they ha I had some rice and a roll. <laughs> and then I wasn't really enjoying the food because I couldn't get past the nudity. It just doesn't – it's not appetizing. Well, and what this means is that you engaged people, and at the table, it's all naked people. And how many sit there? Eight? No, they're just like four to a table. Round okay. Two. So two naked people and you and Ayana, and you just, you're just sitting there talking. Yeah, at one point the the waitress lady came by and her breasts rubbed up against Diana and she oh. said, but I'm sorry about that. And I what was like, hey, give it to me. What kind of a conversation do you have with someone who's naked, a regular conversation? I would honestly – the thing that's interesting about them is that they decided to live a life without clothes. Well, they don't they decided, live well, – meaning that this is what they do to recreate. They want to be unencumbered by clothing. That's what's interesting about them. You, you understand what I'm saying? So if somebody's an accountant, that's not interesting. But right. this guy also hand glides, then that becomes what you talk about. These people, whatever they do, you know, one works at Pottery Barn. The other <laughs> one is, you know, at the IRS or whatever, the Census Bureau, you know, whatever. But then when they're not doing that, they like to watch TV. They like to embroider they like to, you know, what it cook, whatever they like to do that without clothes on. That's what's interesting about them. So if that were me, obviously they're not ashamed of it because it's the exact opposite. They should be ashamed. What they're not ashamed of, right? You follow, right? It's the so violence. you're saying you would be engaging them on why are you getting? Naked? I'd be like, I need to know. I mean, what is it about clothing that you that makes you want to live this? Because for me, it would be very uncomfortable to walk around. Again, I don't sleep without my without clothes on. And that's the time right. I want to be the most comfortable because that's when I'm going to sleep. Does that make any sense? No, I I get it. Uh, I did not go there. I'm not interested. No, I just make comment where you're from. What you know, and then then I started drinking heavily, and and then it just got weird. <laughs> okay. First of all, the show was great. I had a destroy. We both killed. It's kind of funny. We got a standing ovation. Oh, <laughs> the last place. No, <laughs> you're like it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, stay seated, sir. Keep your you clapping. It's fine. You don't need to stand up. So that was kind of cool. There was uh, black people there, which is surprising. There was there was four. I didn't. Yeah, know. that doesn't seem like something black people would do. No. So I made jokes about that, obviously. Right. Uh, we got uh, a lot of drinking heavily. Anna, she couldn't hang as as long as I could. Obviously, she's not an alcoholic. But uh, it got kind of weird at the end of the night. Ended up at this guy's camper. There's this couple. <laughs> oh, come on. Not guys, it's, they're couples. And and the one girl I knew know her sister. She used to work at this place that did comedy, right? What? You and, knew somebody there? Well, I know her sister had said on Facebook that her that her sister goes there. And so I met the sister. So I didn't know the sister. That's right. So, so the naked girl introduced me as I'm Angie's sister. And um so we got to talking and then I kept taking pictures, which is I'm not supposed to do, right? I ended up right. deleting them all, but they kept yelling at me. But at one point, I overhear the husband of this guy, the sister, say, "Look, I don't care if you if you have sex with this guy, just no pictures." And I was like, "Whoa, wait a minute! What what am I entering into here? What?" what so what they just... were talking about you. Yes, right. See, that's the thing. 
in that if they're just people that want to like, hey, it's natural. That's a weird to me. That's an uh, that's odd behavior. We live in a society, you know, y- you can justify it however you want. But running around, you know, paying bills naked, vacuuming, that's weird. That's a weird thing to do. OK, I'm not saying if you want to live your life in with a tall fence around you, go, go do it. But, you know, to act like it's not. The truth is, is that and this is what I guess there's something sexual about. It. For some of them, there is. There's definitely. Right. Okay, yes, so, I got a so, little swinger vibe from some of them. If they want to represent it as if it's some sort of liberating and freeing thing, that's fine. And by the way, you know, whatever. If that's if you're within the law and you want to do that, uh, you know, you have the right to live that way, just like I have the right to think that it's really weird. But right. you know, now I know that there are ulterior motives. And by the way, they're a lot better looking comics than you that they can go after. That's a bad decision on their part. <laughs> but but they're that's not a they... lot better looking people there than me. Oh, I see. They're trying to stay like, hey, we don't mind going out of our league, but we can't go so far out of our league that they thought they could get you. That probably makes you feel bad about yourself. Well, Eric is a- a- actors asking, was she doable? And yes, she was. She was actually on the, the more attractive side of things. Uh, right. But no, no, nothing like that happened. Come on, people. I, I would never do that. All right. At least I wouldn't talk about it. But yeah. So uh, what you're saying is, is that you ended up in a camper. That's weird, too, by the way. Didn't yes. They, <laughs> they have a you're, you end up in a camper playing Christmas with a, with, <laughs> with a couple. And they were like, hey, we're down. And then you were like, whoa, whoa wait a minute. Did you it, did you address it? Well, there wasn't. It was several couples. OK, so it wasn't just the three of us. Yeah, I, I said, hey, well, it's, nothing's going to like that happen. Then he ended up driving me back to my condo where I was. Oh, you had your own little place or whatever? Well, me and Ina, we shared a condo. There was a, she had a bedroom and I just slept. <laughs> there was a sleeper couch. I just, you know, slept on the couch. It had a kitchen and everything. It was, it was nice. But know. then they went at it all like the, it was a big giant group that went to I, Very well possible. Yeah, I, I did kind of get the vibe. Now, granted, I'm really drunk at this time, but I did kind of get the vibe that things were going to, progress but i was stopping <laughs> it. you know what i mean yeah no i i hear it just i hear but what you're no, saying. <laughs> i don't want to but everyone was really friendly we had a great time we had a great show no, it was I, listen, really I know fun you, it's a really you fun don't gig. want yeah. these people to think that you're bad you're not bad mouthing them i am Gosh. basically what you're saying <laughs> is you went they weren't very attractive they wanted to have sex with you and some guy drove you home i i get i hear i understand the story i get it perhaps i can write about this for my column well, that's that I, yeah. <laughs> why, that is, a, of course, you write about that.